So let's start with some of the questions that I've been asked. Um, a lot of these generally come in over the month and I try and pick out the ones that I get asked more than once um, because quite often there's a lot of the same kind of questions come in. So a couple of, uh, oh, a couple of weeks ago now, I put out a video about north facing solar panels and I used a phrase in those videos which um, somebody was asking, you know, what, what does extending the generation day mean? And I put out a little short video to try and explain it, but I thought this is probably a perfect opportunity to sort of go into it in more depth. So if you think about your orientation of your solar on your roof, if you've got a perfect south facing roof, then you've probably covered that entire roof with panels. But at this time of the year, especially in the UK, we're at quite a high latitude, the sun rises kind of in the northeast. And by the time it gets round to your south facing panels, you, you know, it might be mid to late morning before you start seeing any meaningful generation. Well, that's what I wanted to show is the value of these north facing panels and what do they contribute? Now, if you haven't seen the full video, I'm gonna give you the pricey of it now, but this is my 2024 generation chart. This is the, uh, the, the orange you see there, those are my south facing arrays. So that's the array that's currently sits on my, my south east, southwest facing roof. And also the four panels that sit on my garage roof, which is southeast facing. The blue is my northeast facing panels. So ignore June, we'll come to June in a moment, but you can see there, once you get into March, they start adding a significant contribution. And this is where this longer generation day comes in. So this is the Solar Edge app from a few days ago. I picked this one because it's got the almost the perfect curve. There were no clouds in the sky, there were no little dips or anything like that. So if you look at that graph, you'll see, compared to most solar curves that you see, um, and if you've just got south facing panels, you probably have quite a steep rise up to the top of the curve and steep drop down. You'll see it's very flat. Now it's still at the peak there, we were up at about six kilowatts um, during the day. But what you can see is look at the start and the end times. That might be a little hard to see there, but we started generating power at about 5.30 in the morning. And we were generating meaningful power, sort of one to two kilowatts by about 6 a.m. And we continued to generate right through till about 8.30 at night. So this is what the north facing array coupled with the south facing array gives you. It gives you that really early start in the summer and extends that whole generation day. It sort of flattens your curve down a little bit, but you end up with a 14 to 15 hour generation day. 